De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Report making the rounds on social media right now is that Reverend Esther Ajay is alleged rumored speculated. Nobimi Tokamli uh, reported, uh, uh, reportedly reported to have raised alarm that um, he couldn't, she could not sleep at night one night, that she kept seeing a cow head, cow head, cow head, oh, you know, fighting the only of Ife and Queen Naomi. It's not a small something. You know, I used to say this here all the time. I said, when you see a cockroach running towards the day, it's either something is pursuing the cockroach or the cockroach is pursuing something. Hmm. That this woman raised the lamo that she could not sleep the entire night. That she closes her eyes or she'll see a cow head. She closes her eyes or she'll see a cow head. Now, here is what they said she said, allegedly, as it is rumored and speculated. They said she said that um, she finished her night prayer. And while they were having that prayer, the Spirit of the Lord told her to pray for Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi. And she prayed. Now, after she did that prayer, she wanted to go. As she stepped out, as she was to step out of her prayer, um, um, you know, uh, hall, the spirit told her to go back and pray for them. So this time she decided to summon, you know, her prayer warriors to um, begin to pray. They prayed for together um, for Olori Naomi. And then um, the spirit of the Lord told her what she was supposed to do for Olori Naomi and the only of it uh, that she went ahead and did some of the things that the Lord said she should do for Olori Naomi and Oni of it, uh, and she did it. Now, apparently, um, uh, why the spirit of the Lord was telling her all of these things, was to open her eyes of understanding to see what they were trying to do spiritually. And that was what happened. She, when she finished, she went and she ate her meal and she prepared um, for bed. Now, after like three hours, as she went to bed, the minute she closed her eyes, boom, she saw something that looked like a full cow. Okay. Now, from the full cow, she said she saw that the head of the cow was separated and the head was flying and the body of the cow was on the ground. Now, the, the head of the cow was pursuing Oni of Ife. And when Olori Naomi saw that the head of the cow was pursuing Oni of Ife, Olori Naomi went and started, you know, beckoning on Oni of Ife to enter a particular space, okay? Oni was running towards that space. And when that cow saw Olori Naomi, the cow started coming after Olori Naomi. Now, she got up and she prayed about that dream. And she prayed so much, like it was a dream, like a, a, a dream-like vision or a vision-like dream, Okay. And when she finished pray, um, praying, she called Olori Nami's number. The number was switched off. Apparently, Nama, Na, maybe Nami had gone to bed because she got uh, two numbers, one that is personal to her and the other one that is for her church members. And she tried to call the other number. The number was ringing. The one for her church members was ringing, but Olori Nami did not pick. So she prayed about it and she went back to bed. Now, she said when she went back to bed, she saw the head of cow again. This time, they were, um, the head of cow was pursuing Olori Naomi. That Naomi was like in a very um, 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 well, wide space, like cloudy um, and space, but like snowish space, okay? Oni of Ife was in a dark, cloudy space, okay? Now, they... Um, cow will try to um, pass through, pierce through the cloud to come towards Naomi because Naomi was on the other side um, calling on Oni of Ife to come this side and um, uh, uh, the, the cow will not be able but the cow was pursuing Oni of Ife round and round and round and round and round and round and, round. and Naomi was trying to rescue Oni of Ife from this side and it was so scary that KBSC was uh, screaming and shouting and all over the place. But that the entire time, that was a dream she saw, that she saw that dream like four times that night. And so she could not bear it again. 
after prayers, she started, you know, trying to make calls to get across to them. It was um, during the call that she found out that they were not even in the palace, that um, Nami was not even in a correct ABC was not in the palace, that they were in the royal mansion. But they said when she found out that both of them were in the royal mansion at that time, they said uh, she was happy that they were not even in the palace of the Oni of Ife, that both of them were in the royal mansion. And that was when she was able to retire back to bed. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Delorama. I bring you fresh and spicy jays from the sources still on the royals. Happy New Week to you. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, saying thank you to you. Can never be overemphasized. Uh, hey. Thank you, people. I love you guys so much. Uh, may God bless you for always being here. May God, you know, make his face to shine upon you. May this week bring you good tidings. Thank you, people. Thank you so much. Now, if you're new here... You must understand that I appreciate you so much. Uh, uh, kindly hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now, do not forget that these are all alleged speculated. No be me talk calmly and, you know, um, uh, rumored gist, okay? Um, uh, these are not first-hand or second-hand or third-hand information. These are all alleged information, okay? And uh, uh, I also say to you that whatever I get on social media, you want to take it um, uh, with a pinch of salt. Now, if this information is the truth, we heard that um, uh, Reverend Esther Ajay has raised the lamp over the fact that they are doing everything that is within their power to hurt. Um, Kabiesi and also hurt Olori Naomi. She raised the lamp over the fact that there was a cow a head that was pursuing them up and down, that they need to pray, they need to pray, like pray and pray and pray and pray without season that the fight continues. So the, the question is that, for how long is this fight going to continue? Uh, I, I, honestly, it's the thing is very worrisome. Sometimes I just feel like maybe, just maybe, but I don't want to say, but um, uh, we do know that there is never a time in this world where light has, uh, I mean, darkness has been, I mean, um, light has been swallowed by darkness. Now, she raised the alarm and um, said that a lot is being done. That that uh, vision she had of a cow, a cow head pursuing Olori Naomi and the Oni of Ife is not to be taken lightly. It's uh, terrible. They said that she had to call the Oni of Ife, called on Olori Naomi, and uh, spoke to them and prayed with them and told them that something is happening in the palace of the Oni of Ife. So when uh, she found out that they said uh, light went out and all of that, Kabi as he said he himself, he knows that they are doing something, but they will do whatever they want to do. The one thing that they will never be able to take away from him is his wife, Olori Naomi. He loves that woman that is ready to give anything to Olori Naomi. Kudos to Naomi. God has blessed you. I'm going to bring you more um, um, uh, update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.